I'm going to talk to you today about this um, particular treasure that, um, that we have, and it's a series of uh, paintings that were put together for a large um, uh, project that um, culminated in a, in, in a volume called the Flora Greca, which was published between 1806 and 1840, um, and it's been described as the most magnificent flora ever. Um, the, um, the project came about as the result of one man's um, passion for the plants of the eastern Mediterranean and he went on this pioneering expedition at the end of the 18th century and he took with him an artist and the artist was Ferdinand Bauer and Ferdinand Bauer is perhaps the finest botanical artist who's ever lived and um, we have here the um, watercolours that Bauer produced from the sketches that he made on this expedition. These watercolours were actually made in Oxford. They were made in Cowley House, which is now part of um, St Hilda's College. And all of these, um, all, all of these watercolours were put together, were, were made in a very short period in, um, in Oxford. And um, each of these watercolours took about one and a half days to produce. Um, eventually, um, these watercolours, there are 966 of them, were um, put together in this volume called the Flora Greca. And um, this was eventually produced, uh, published. There are only 25 copies, first printings of this um, volume um, um, produced. It was extraordinarily expensive. Um, it, would, it cost at least £250 to, um, um, to buy at that, at that point in time as a benchmark the average wage at that period was £39 a year. So it gives you some idea of the, of the cost. The value, the scientific value of this, um, of, of this material is the fact that he went to an area and he explored an area and accurately represented the plants that were growing in the area. And hundreds of new plant species were described from this particular um, part of the, um, uh, particular part of the world, which was then almost completely unknown. Um, and um, it's, a particularly, um, it's a particularly exciting um, uh, volume to actually have this unique um, manuscript together with the actual plants that were collected on the expedition, all of the manuscript notes, all of the history of the publication of the volume, the whole collection is here. And that's what really makes this, um, this material so valuable from the um, as, as a library treasure it's the material together it's not necessarily one individual item but everything together but as works of art these are magnificent as botanical illustrations they are they have very rarely been succeeded and um, we can see in this case the example here is mandrake a very famous very famous plant that's been uh, been um, produced in all sorts of, of different ways. There's a lot of mythology um, associated, um, associated with it. And part of that mythology is illustrated um, here on this, on, on, on this plate. So a, a particular treasure then associated with the, um, from, the Bodleians, um, from the Bodleians' point of view is the fact that we've, this has been in the, in the collection for um, over 200 years. It is a. Um, it's, it's unique. There is. There, th these are the original. This is the original. The original material that was eventually. It was engraved. It was, um, and together, it, the whole collection together is um, very. Uh, is, is very significant, both from the point of view of science, from you know, um, art history, the history of printing. All all of these types of things make this a um, unique. Um, a unique um, item. Some of these paintings are a little bit on the grubby side that is a that's associated with the history of the fact that when these were originally engraved the originals were treated very poorly very badly um, and also they were used as teaching aids by um, by Sibthorpe in his lectures and so all of this information is maintained on these um, uh, on, on these particular um, uh, watercolors um, and the other exciting thing about these um, these watercolors from the, from the potentially from the Bodleian's um, point of view is that um, you can find out a lot about the types of pigments that were that were being used in this period from uh, um, from this type of work by you can then analyze the, uh, analyze the pigments um, and the other thing that Bauer was doing of course was he was making his own pigments he wasn't buying 
things um, off the shelf. So there's a lot of uh, th th there's a, there's a lot of additional added value from the manuscript itself as an original manuscript, rather than, um, for example, the printed volumes, which of course we also we also have. In fact, we have four of the 25 copies in Oxford.